Hello, hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumined Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? I hope that you're doing well. So today, I want to talk to you about this energy we're in, which is very pertinent for the Twin Flame Union. Okay, a lot of people just think of themselves in terms of one, I'm a Twin Flame, you're a union, like it or not, and this subject is going to be about soulmate release. Now, what does this mean for us, soulmate release? It means allowing things to release from you. Okay, this means not only allow things that may have been attached to you and your twin to fall away. Okay, it also means being proactively detaching from things. Things having to do with soulmates. Why? I'll tell you why. Because you are in the cosmic level of release here. Cosmic level release of soulmates. Now this is where it gets confusing because this will involve other parts of you. It's not just, you know, the eyes or the ego. These are other parts of you that go way back and way deep sometimes. And it can be very confusing. It also means acceptance. And for some people, their level of acceptance is going to actually take them years. It's not planned for them to take years. It's not as though you could say, you, you're taking five years, you're taking 10 years. For a lot of people, they've already been in years of accepting that this is who they are and this is the way it is or this is who it is. That level of acceptance needs to ramp up, time to turn the volume up on accepting, okay? How do you do this? This is also taking charge of the situation. This means taking charge of things when you sense that your twin isn't taking charge because some of the cosmic experiences you've had, you actually do share. And how do you share it? Well, that's something that I talk about in my surrender because there's several parts of you that have enabled things to feel like a shared experience even while you're living in two separate bodies. So there's the separateness, there's the togetherness, and then there's all of the stuff that's happened, stuff that you've lived through, stuff that's happened to you, stuff that you've actively engaged in, and most of all, things you have actively and repetitively gone through again and again and again and again with the same collective. Now, when I say collective, I don't mean just the Twin Flame community, I mean a group, a group of souls. So those of you who are seeds, and you're the little seed that could, you're going to know this. And some of you may be confused. You may see, I, I know I'm here on this earth for a reason, which doesn't exactly equal mission in terms of what you do for a living. There is a reason. Yes, there is you will be experiencing in some ways in order to take charge of the situation mirrored or parallel lives. For example, is your twin struggling with their marriage, but rather than break free, they're just considering having an affair? Is it making you think of having an affair? Is it showing up in odd ways where you're suddenly having arguments with people around you? Is your married twin having arguments and then thinking it smooths out and you find out on the other end you're having arguments with all females or arguments with all males. Does your twin think and believe that they can take everybody and everything with? Soulmate release. We can't. We cannot. Parallel lives. These are some of the things at the cosmic level that have paralleled your experiences or helped you how do you balance this? Okay, and for some people, this is this energy is going to mean expanding horizons. What that what does that mean? That means one of you probably has already gone through quite a bit last year. The other one is not going to have expanding horizons. They will be having collapsing horizons. And it also means physical freedom. It also means being able to break away from those situations that you've wanted to be free of. Let me give you an example of that. Someone who's married, 
wishes that their spouse would just, you know, somehow die in an accident somehow. And that does happen. People do actually consider it. What if? And then they, and then it bounces back to them and suddenly they start, quote, feeling it because the mind will ping it back to them and it will be suggested your spouse may die in an accident. And they go, oh, goody. It's out of my hands. I don't mean to take charge of the situation or take any action. They will just simply get in a car accident, fall off a ladder, drive off a bridge, have a two-by-four fall on their head and, and completely kill them. Anything. Anything but taking proper actions. What are proper actions? Those are the ones that your higher self will guide you to. And if you don't understand and can't discern what that is, come and seek some help on the guidance, the discernment, and the timing of things. Come and join my webinar, which is called Surrender. It's Surrender to Love. It's in two parts. And not only do I help you with the understanding, the discernment, and the timing, I also help you with the body parts on where are the soulmates attached? Where do you or your twin, you may have said to yourself, hey, wait a minute, I've been through several cycles of this, okay? And how do you get yourself to expand your horizons? There's some other things to know about this energy. If you've been uh, taking what you have been up in the air and sort of mulling over and thinking about and dreaming about and thinking about it, it means take charge and put it into action now. If you've been dreaming up something, if you want to improve something, stop thinking about it, implement it. That's what this energy is for. Now, you're going to have a bit of a stop and start. You know, you're going to have some of that energy that feels like you start up and you have to stop. Like red light, green light, red light, green light, red light, green light, keep coming forward. You will still have some of that possibly on your side of your union. You must help your twin transcend. How do you do this? Integration is the key. And it has to be with the person that has the matching parts to you. In other words, what's been seeded in you, if you're the seed that could, the seeds are in only one other person. There is only one twin flame, no matter how many terminologies we give it, whether we call it false twin, okay, anybody who isn't the one will feel like that and your body will want to release them. Now, there's another thing to know about this energy. Are you emotionally stable? You didn't go through everything in the last quarter of the last year and up until now, not to stabilize at some point. You're stabilizing for a reason. It's for your union, okay? That stabilization possibly may include a sense of feeling stagnant, a sense of feeling boredom. You may feel a sense of you're just so done with this 3D world. You just don't care about things in the same way that you used to. You may care, but maybe not in the same ways. You may be feeling that you're not in the flow and you may actually feel depression. Now, there's a thing to know about this. Your twin may actually be feeling depressed. And it, while it may not be clinical depression, what do you do about it? And your twin may be thinking things that they can do or don't have to do. Either they have to or they don't have to. Maybe they don't have to do certain things. I want to remind you of something that I outlined here, and I added something to this. Three phases for waves one, two, and three. You meet, that has taken place since 1987 to 2012, and this is where the energy started. 2012, even if people met in 2013, 2014, even 2015 for some of the late bloomers. But from here to here, the harmonic convergence that started in 1987 culminated in 2012 and enabled those people who are seated to start meeting. What do you have? You have a flash of recognition, you have an imprint on the eye and the heart, and you start an activation. 
Now, some of you may know this. Some of you may say, yeah, I know I activated my twin. Well, hang on here a minute. All you did was start a little flame of a fire on the inside. Your twin, believe it or not, may not have fully blossomed out at the same time of you. Then came the part to heal. Purge, bridge. This is bridge. You are the living bridge between dimensions. Elevate. This includes sometimes helping other people around you that are significant to you, such as family and children. And the separate cosmic and joint connections. This is what you're working on. The cosmic connections. That translates many times as soulmates. If you've gotten rid of your soulmates, how do you help your twin? And how do you help your twin transcend the dimension? Because the next thing will be finishing the job and aligning your other subtle bodies and your joint points. Now, the things that I added here, one really important thing is fire. Okay? Now, we have a full moon here coming up at the end of this month. There's also an eclipse. A lot of pe people, as you may know, it is called a blue moon, which is just an expression for a second full moon within a month period. It happens about every two and a half years. Okay? That's not really the significant part, although you could say once in a blue moon, this or that happens every two and a half years. Well, two and a half years later, what happened? Two and a half years later, what happened? Two and a half years later from 2015, you know, what's happening to you, okay? And it's in the sign of Leo, which is a fire sign, okay? And what is the fire? What is the fire for twin flames? Well, a lot of people equate it with passion. And here's another thing to know. Fire also means inflammation. It means burning things off. If you're with the wrong person, it may translate as sexual diseases. It may translate as other forms uh, such as vaginal yeast infections, um, gut yeast infections, and other things that you may not want if you're mingling with people you shouldn't be mingling with or if your twin is. Okay, How do you do that? How do you get rid of these things? How do you identify it? And by the way, you might say, well, what causes this? Or what's, what's not only what is the reason? The reason is twin flame. The healing is twin flame. So the answer is always twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. But when you have fire, okay, what do people start looking for when they start feeling better? They want some hot stuff. They want some hot stuff. Baby, got some hot stuff, baby, this evening. And some people get their pants in a bunch of because they are feeling better and this is another thing with this energy soulmates are going to be coming out of the woodwork you may meet people that you actually haven't seen in lifetimes and you have some kind of recognition of them you may also be finding that you know you're meeting a better quality of soulmate and what do you do with that you just say no to soulmates just say no to soulmates okay the answer is no, okay? The answer is, once again, twin flame. I'm a twin flame, and I have my twin flame, and I will be what? I don't just burn off my loyalties at any drop of the hat. I am loyal. That is not a test of your union, okay? It's actively saying no. It is how you take charge of the situation, what is the other thing I wrote here? There is a wave of love that started with the eclipse last year to propel people where they need to be, to get things purged, to get things elevated. Don't rock the wave. You know, that's another song. Thank you, Hughes Corporation. Up to now, we've sailed through every storm. And I've always had your loving arms to keep me warm. Okay? Our love is like a ship on the ocean. We've been sailing with a cargo full of love and devotion. So I'd like to know where you got the notion. Said I'd like to know where 
you got the notion. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Okay, that is a message for you. Don't do anything to rock the boat while you're, rock the wave here while your twin is getting situated. Okay? Your twin's the one that's been sailing with the cargo and getting you here. Now, another thing that happens, I have a little other example here where you have some people that meet each other, okay? He met his twin, and amazingly, she has someone who looks a lot like him. Oh my goodness. And she keeps coming and she keeps talking about this person that she's already with. And her twin says, hey, you need to let go of him. I mean, I can't really... You know, I mean, he's a nice guy, but you don't know about guys with other guys. Well, I don't see what's anything wrong with him. He's fine. No, he's not a baby. He's a grown man. He's a grown man. You can't carry him with you. But I just can't say goodbye to him. Why don't, why don't you just accept that this is the way the situation is? But we're not supposed to accept it. That's not the acceptance. The acceptance is accepting that you love me that you love me and we're the ones that are intended to be together. And she's determined to carry this and to keep recharging her batteries and going back and recharging her batteries and going back. And, you know, he, as soon as she leaves, he goes, doesn't she know that other guys just growl at other guys and other guys just sort of bark at them? I mean, if I try to get that guy out, he's going to attack me. He's going to attack me. I know guys. I'm a guy. I know guys. I know men. And what is she thinking? Well, she's thinking that with this surge of love, she can have everything. But you see, she's not intended to carry him with. She's intended to release all the soulmates. Okay? And this applies both to males and females and males and males and females and females. Whatever your orientation is, that you are releasing all soulmates. And this even gets confusing for people that are in same-sex unions. Same-sex unions will sometimes find that the opposite gender becomes a problem because suddenly their twin cannot accept, okay? And you have to help your twin with this level of acceptance and transcendence, okay? So how do you do this? Well, I have a webinar class that is in two parts that I'm starting February 1st. February 1st, that's a Thursday morning, Surrender to Love, and February 2nd, which is Friday in the evening. So either of these would be good for either ocean. On the Atlantic side, you will probably want February 1st. On the Pacific side, you will probably want February 2nd. Atlantis and Lemuria are covered. Part two is on February 4th, which is a Sunday for the Atlantis side of people, and February 7th for the Lemuria side of people, for the Pacific time zones, okay? Yes, I do readings, I do sessions, and I do body energy work, and I do it in such a way that there are two of you. There are two of you, and I do feel your connections. And I'm also doing a live, in-person, hands-on intensive here in Chicago, Twin Flame class, February 24th or February 25th. These are from 9 to 4 in Chicago. That's live. That's live with me. It's live hands-on. I balance your chakras. We talk. I teach you. I teach you how to stay balanced. Balance. How do you balance? Do you think that... They can balance their union with a third wheel in tow. Can anyone balance with three people? Or is it you and your twin and the divine and the who you truly are? It's hard enough to balance with children. I also talk about that. How do you surrender, not roll over and play dead, because you are not here to tolerate bad behavior. You're not here to tolerate bad situations. 
you can give chances. However, if it appears that the person just isn't getting it, or this may be a possibility, soulmate. What if they are not your twin and they are a soulmate? What if? Okay. What if you're struggling to discern this? What if what you originally felt seems like it's been fading? You know, does it does it mean something? Does it not mean something? How do you get out of the stagnation? How do you budge your twin? So these are the things that um, I will be talking about, about what surrender is, what it isn't, what you do, what you're proactive on, and the parts of you that actually help you get things shifted. Okay? Because many of you are in this part right now, which is the healing, cosmic, purging, bridging, elevating. That means different things for different people. Do you have kids? I talk to people sometimes where there's kids on each side that are coming into being near the union somehow. What if you have a kid and your twin has three? What if you have five kids and your twin has four? What if, how do you balance? How do you balance budgets? How do you get enough money? How do you stay together? All these kind of things. Surrender. Surrender to love. Come and find out how or come to my live class. So thank you so much for listening. Please know that this is intended to be a very, very uh, purgy time with this moon energy. For some of you, it may have started already. The other thing about the fire, all of the Mercury retrogrades this year, I'm pretty sure they're in fire signs, burning off, burning it off, burning it off, burning it off. And burning does sometimes get uncomfortable. So come on and find out because I am very comprehensive in my approach. I recommend supplements, movements. I give you answers. We get light codes and a communion with your twin, a true communion of subtle connection with only your twin. And the opportunity to ask things sometimes here in a protected environment. I'm going to say one last thing here. You know, I've been uh, dr sometimes driving. I don't watch a lot of television. However, if you ever listen to morning radio, some people's stories are making it onto the ra radio. There's a show here where they, they do a second date, and the radio station calls both people and says, hey, you know, would you consider a second date? And there are people that are answering and saying a lot of things. Are your, is, is the story of your journey um, somebody else's comedy? Is it something that other people are commiserating with? Are you posting things about your own twin that uh, you, you could say, why'd you post that? Because a year from now, are you going to want it on there? You know, please feel things before you do. Please feel before you share. Please, you know, come into a protected environment where I do moderate it. Everything is done in the highest light and love. And not only that, the focus is twin flame. The focus isn't other people's misery. Okay? People are having enough going on. I'm here to let you know that being the love means that there are parts of this journey that we should be grateful for. That, I mean, think about this. When I say the word stagnation, how stagnant would your life be if you hadn't met your twin? How enjoyable have you had experiences? So many of you have sparked up travel. You've gone to places. You've joined things, okay? You've discovered things, okay? You've met new people, okay? It's all great, but there's still time to release things, and you will find that that's the case, that sometimes you will release things in giving gratitude for what you have had already because you're not done yet. You're not done. Okay? You're not done. And come and find out what else is there. Okay? Because a lot of you are scratching your head saying, I thought that was it. I thought all we had to do was have a conversation. No, there actually is more because your twin flame union actually has parts to you that do need special observance and care. And the proper care and feeding, you could say, of your light body 
and that in and of itself is an entire subject which I do talk about in several webinars and this one is about surrendering to love and getting yourself where you need to be but furthermore the how to with your twin okay for many people their twin is underwater and what does it mean your twin is in their own emotional state of either stagnation and sometimes depression how do you shift it because you're gonna find that what happens with your twin does affect you and vice versa we're not in the old paradigm anymore you can't recharge each other's batteries in the same way so thank you so much for listening I hope you have a wonderful weekend I hope to see you there the links are below or on my website at www twinflamesmerge.com. Thank you. Bye now.